It all started with a balloon. A lot bigger than this one. Nope, even bigger. A balloon so big, it kind of looked like the moon. That's the moon. Okay, that thing is not the moon. This thing is so weird. It was flying over US and Canadian airspace. And when it was suspected to be a surveillance balloon from China, the Pentagon decided to... <gasps> Whoa. To understand what's led to all of this, I had a chat to Bill Bertels, the ABC's East Asia correspondent. Hi, Bill. Thank you so much for joining us here at VTN. I'd like to know what's going on with this balloon. And we're not just talking about a balloon, we're talking about a balloon with uh, solar panels rigged up on the bottom of it, um, with what they call um, intelligence gathering pods, instruments that um, potentially detect radio signals or capture imagery. From what we can understand, it's actually not a new thing for countries to use balloons for espionage or other research. No, not a new thing at all. After World War II, the US set up a program, the trial program was called Project Moby Dick, where they used a, an, as an experiment 500 balloons to carry cameras and other sensors. Uh, the concept was to, to carry them across the Soviet Union, the Eastern Bloc, but also into China. Um, and then that first experimental wave, Project Moby Dick, interestingly enough, set off the original wave of UFO uh, speculation and uh, suspected sightings in southwestern US. And it's something we're hearing again now. Since the first balloon was spotted, there's been another three unidentified objects found in US airspace, which, just like the balloon, have been destroyed. They've also set off some theories about UFOs. But the White House has made it clear there's no alien activity here. There is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. But are we really, really sure? Again, there is no indication of aliens or terrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Hmm, I guess so. Now that we've shot down that theory, Let's get back to bigger questions, like why anyone would still be using balloons to get information. Some experts think that there are some advantages of using balloons, um, radio intelligence um, for gathering uh, communication signals on the ground. Also, two, the um, experts assessing this balloon believe that it was uh, manoeuvrable. So potentially um, you might be able at a closer distance to hover over sensitive military sites um, compared to satellites. China has now accused the US of flying more than 10 balloons over their airspace in the past year, even though there's not a lot of evidence to support this. But even if the balloons are well and truly gone, there's a whole lot more to this situation. The level of tension and distrust between these two great powers is just growing day by day. Long term, China wants to displace the United States as the world's most powerful country. Long term, the United States wants to stave off China, replacing it as the world's most powerful country. And there's no room for compromise. It's a small part of a much, much bigger rivalry.